Prince Harry's ex Florence St. George defends Meghan. Her couple's media coverage weighed on her. Florence St. George's was only a couple of weeks with Prince Harry in 2011 but could not bear the media pressure. In the columns of the Times, he returns to the show pressure and defends Meghan Markle while Harry has been widely criticized since his marriage to Meghan Markle and the decision to leave the royal family. Many of his ex-girlfriends defended the American actress, at least to admit to having had a lot of trouble living a love story by being placed in the spotlight. In an interview with the Times, Florence St. George Brundonel Bruce returns to her short relationship with the Duke of Sussex and the anguish that it gave him. She explained that she quickly understood that such an exposed romantic relationship was not for her. When I first glimpsed during our relationship what it was like to be in the spotlight, I found it really terrifying and I decided fairly quickly that it was not the right thing to do for me, she confides. Even if she doesn't name either Meghan Markle or Prince Harry, Florence St. George, now married to millionaire Henry St. George, makes a fairly clear allusion while supporting the much maligned couple since the Mexit. Also in the Times, she said, I have the utmost respect for everyone who lives in the spotlight. The young 34-year-old woman, former top model, is now a fan of pottery, an activity that helps her calm her anxiety after having suffered a postnatal depression. Like Florence St. George, the many exes of Prince Harry all recognized that the media pressure due to the relationship was difficult to bear. If Chelsea Davy tried refused to comment on the Mexit, Cressida Bernice prefers to laugh. She was who was present on May 19, 2018 at the wedding of Meghan Markle and Harry. Just call us Meghan and Harry, Meghan Markle, accessible and fulfilled in Los Angeles. In Los Angeles, Meghan Markle and Harry surprised several people by delivering meals. The couple donated their time to those who had COVID-19 and seemed happier and more accessible than ever. The pretty brunette even told her friends that doing this good deed had done her good. The new life of Meghan Markle and Harry in Los Angeles holds many surprises. The couple who moved to America at the end of March after a brief move to Vancouver seems to be finding their mark little by little even if it means surprising the public, as revealed by the Daily Mail. According to the site, Archie's parents have given a bit of their time to help people in need. For example, the Sussexes voluntarily delivered meals to people who were affected by the coronavirus. Those who appear to have been disowned by Prince Charles have visited residents who have been gravely ill from COVID-19, but who are at high risk for food. This gesture was made possible by the association Project Angel Food and did a lot of good for the pretty brunette. According to a source close to the lovers, Meghan Markle told her friends that it had been good to go out and connect with people, so she plans to do a lot more volunteering with Harry. Those who renounced their role functions last January were very accessible with the other volunteers. Far from behaving like prince and princess, just call us Meghan and Harry. Even said Meghan Markle to her friends for a day while the people who were delivered didn't hide their surprise and elderly women even started to cry and said that she had always been a fan and that she dreamed of meeting them, added the source. This new life of Sussex starts on the heads of wheels. Meghan Markle and Harry careful but stylish bandanas around the nose for a walk with the dogs even in the middle of a coronavirus pandemic you can protect yourself without sacrificing anything in your looks this is what Meghan markle and harry proved by wearing a bandana on their faces while walking with the dogs on the streets of los angeles Meghan markle and harry have found a way to combine style and protection in the spirit of coronavirus pandemic this friday april 17 despite the confinement the couple allowed themselves to go out on the streets of los angeles to walk their beloved dogs casual looks Cab screwed on the head, the parents of little Archie made sure not to be noticed, but a detail of the outfits didn't go unnoticed. The sky blue bandanas that both had tied on their face. After the contamination of Prince Charles, it was out of the question for the couple to ignore the instructions in force in California, imposing to cover their faces in public. The day before, Meghan Markle and Harry had opted out for the same solution during a voluntary distribution of meals to the most vulnerable people in the city of angels a big surprise to which dan terrell and angelina who saw the sussexes ringing at his door armed with gloves the famous bandana for harry and a surgical mask for his wife was entitled to it this friday during this walk Meghan markle had a bottle of hydro 
alcoholic Jill, the proof that the actress of the series Suits, who works on a return on the set of cinema, takes very seriously the precautionary measures against the coronavirus, accompanied by the private bodyguards. The Sussexes therefore safely enjoyed the ride. As a source from the Sun explained, they walked for more than an hour, and when they returned, the dogs had looked exhausted.